What's up, everyone? Tonight on the Blackstone, we're going to make the world's fanciest fish and chips. We got some uh, Fenko swordfish steaks. I know those two uh, words usually aren't in the same sentence, but we're doing it anyway. And we've got some scalloped potatoes. They're not really scalloped. I just cut them in about a quarter inch width lengthwise. So we're going to lay those down and cook them up and see what we can do. Start with our oil over here. And these will be a little bit labor intensive because at first we are going to make sure that we hit both sides of the potato. So I will be back in a minute after all these are laid out. So these guys are all laid down. We are going to hit them with some pepper, a little bit of paprika, and garlic powder, of course. Don't be afraid of the garlic powder. And then once they're flipped, we're going to hit them with some basil. So we're going to let these guys fry up a little bit. Oh, and I also have, obviously, if you couldn't tell by now, some gar minced garlic with a stick of butter over here. Well, that's going to be for the swordfish when that gets ready to go. In fact, that is already melted, so we're just going to go ahead and kind of rest it up onto the side here. So we're going to let these guys kind of cook up for two or three minutes on the first side, and we'll be right back. Yeah. All right, so you can kind of smell when these guys are getting ready to go. Whoop. Holy moly, this is going to be a lot of labor. See those right there? That's exactly what we're looking for, that color. All right, that was a lot of work. Whoop. But... Uh, We'll just make sure everybody is separated here. These will be our chips, if you will, for our fish and chips. What we're gonna do is get a little bit more oil down, keep them happy. I'm gonna shut this burner off, scrape up over here. I'm gonna get some fresh oil down. Get that around, whoop. Looks like we had a potato cling along. And here is our breaded, just lightly crusted swordfish. We're gonna get these guys down. Since these have been flipped, we are going to hit them with basil. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to get a bit of garlic butter over top, just a bit. That's going to kind of steam. This dome, these two domes, I just got them. I like them because they're narrower. They're not as, as tall. So not the steam is more effective in a shorter area. So I do like these. If you want to know where I got them, ask in the comments. All right. We got a situation with our potatoes over here. So far, so good. We are going to hit them with a little bit of seasoning salt. This is Lowry's. Pretty common stuff. I'm sure you can find it at your store. Take a look at these guys. Uh, those are almost ready to flip. I'm going to keep the dome off of them for the time being. All right. Back about 30 seconds later. Let's see what we got. Boom. Boom. Those look pretty okay. Garlic butter, basting. Hit them with a little bit of lemon. Good. Dome them. Let them sit like that for a little bit. We'll be right back. We just gave our potatoes a quick flip. They are cooked. We'll see if we can get them to crisp up just a little bit more. And then we can get them on the wire rack. So back a minute or two later, the potatoes are coming along very nicely. I would say they're almost there. All right, we're going to see what these look like on the underside there. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty good. I am going to flip them back over. 
let them go for just a little while longer. We can get our potatoes off. There we go. Get a quick layer over top of them. So let's see how this swordfish is coming along. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So what we're going to do, get these guys on our board. Kill the heat. A little bit of housekeeping tip. Um, you know, when this, so this is a messy griddle right now, right? So if anybody was interested, look, this is all you got to do. This is all I'm doing. Usually I don't do this on film because it's annoying to listen to this scraper. But for the sake of questions being answered, my griddle is very well seasoned. So it does scrape off very easily. It doesn't, I'm, I'm barely, I'm not really putting pressure. I'm just kind of scraping. And that's good for the time being. If you guys want to see a full post cleaning, post cook cleaning video, I can do that. Just uh, let me know in the comments. Um, so this is what we got. Those are our cuts. They're looking really good. Just cooling a bit. I'm going to plate them up. So here we go. Fancy fish and chips. Swordfish and scallop potatoes. If you like this video, leave me a like. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the comments section down below. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.